Hello guys. I think uh, I think I got it working. <laughs> I had to um, edit the camera settings. I think we're good now. We got the track IR on the head here. That's why I look like a weirdo with like a remote control. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm powered by the ceiling. We got it working. Um, I had to turn all my lights off because I was like, oh, maybe it's my lights interfering with it. Um, you know, you never know, do you? So I had to turn everything off. <laughs> and then I was like, then I was Googling and um, it was like, oh, there's a, you can choose, the, you can set up the camera sensitivity. So what, what it was doing was like randomly just picking stuff up because the default sensitivity was too high. <laughs> tell me, tell me more, so I know Spitfire. So, uh, yeah, so basically, when I first set it up, I loaded into the game with it, and the, the head's, like, spinning around. <laughs> and I was like, oh. So hopefully this works. Um, should do. Nearly bought what today? Oh, the head tracker. But I wanted to try it out, because the thing is, obviously VR is optimal. But, uh, hello, helicopter landing. Um, for live streaming, VR is not great. And uh, also, you can't get that much performance out of uh, Flight Sim, so head tracking is a good option. Um, I've used no face track, no IR, um, and I've used some other solutions, and they work. They're fine. Like I think they're pretty good, but uh, the track IR solution is by far the best. I've used it in the past, so it's just high resolution. It's 120 hertz camera. Um, so uh, yeah, it's the best head tracking solution outside of VR. Um, so, you know, we'll see how it goes for live streaming. It's my helicopter goes flying in the background. Let's, um, let's go, let's take off it in Egypt. Let's do a little flight. Let's look, let's fly around the pyramids to test this out. Yeah, the, well, the free track stuff works, but you, it's not a hundred percent like as accurate as, um, what you can get with uh, track IR type solutions, uh, but they're not bad. Um, where am I going? Here we go. Um, pyramids are down here, so we'll take off there. Okay, let's see how it goes. <laughs> you look like an alien. Yeah, track IR is good once you get it working. As I said I I haven't used it. For, uh, last time I used it was like in two thousand and uh, four, two thousand and three. Uh, now maybe it's 2005. Like when it literally when it first came out was when I used it. Been kicked out of the pub. So let's see how this works. There we go. We have head tracking. I probably could do with uh, tweaking it a bit. I've got my head tracker off to the side. probably could do with I need to adjust the smoothness of it and stuff so let's sort that out we get the head tracker over here it's on the screen so you can see what I'm doing there you go so you can see the uh, head tracking normally you want it normally you want it off to the middle uh, not to the side, but I was just it's at the side at the moment because that means it's close to my head um, so Basically we can do it's on the default profile. We can do a smoother profile um, Normally I like to have it um, less sensitive <laughs> Problem is if I move my headphones. Uh, I need to we need a reset button. Center F12 key. Okay, do that. There we go. That's better. So yeah, the dead zone in the middle of this default profile is too much. Um, so I should be able to just move these down.
Hello, PG. Virtual Gamer Muscle Airlines. Don't know if that's adjusting the right thing there. Your, oh, no, hang on. That's your. Oh, that's right. Oh, here we go. I think, it's, I think it's actually having trouble because my camera's off the side. I might try moving the uh, track IR to the middle where it's supposed to be, and I think that'll help. So <laughs> let's give that a go. Yeah, it is designed to be in the middle. Uh, well, this is one from Amazon. Basically, there's Chinese companies that have knocked it off that they use the same chip. <laughs> um, so it's there's a couple of different versions of it. There you go, it's much more happy with it in the middle. Also, you're supposed to put it on a cap, not on top of your head. So I think maybe... It's hard. This is the one thing that I find with these sorts of head tracking devices is it's hard to find a... Because it's not one-to-one -one because of the way they work. I mean, you can set up one-to-one, -one actually. Um, well, it, it basically, it's the same... I mean, that's actually all right, you know. Um, it's the same as how the Oculus Rift, the original CV1, works, basically. One-to-one's actually pretty good. Because you want you want it to be pretty smooth in the centre. Like, if you're playing Euro Truck Sim, you want to em emphasise it. We say poor man's VR. They co it costs, like, 130 quid. <laughs> add a bit of smooth into it. It's got a good response though because it has a 120 hertz camera. That's pretty good. That's all right. that's that's probably perfectly usable and also probably not too bad. Probably want a bit of smoothing for you guys. The roll detection is not that good. The pitch is all right. Left, right is all right. But that's all. You, you don't need a huge amount. Like in a helicopter with a widescreen monitor. Like if because when this first came out, you only had uh, <laughs> we only had uh, twenty four inch monitors. So for flight sims, you know, you like looking at the dials and stuff, you know. Right, let's take off here and see what it's like. When I need to, I mean, F12 is the reset. Uh, yeah, it does support VR, but for live streaming, this sort of thing can work out really well. And yeah, I've forgotten to connect my uh, joystick. A force feedback joystick. Right, why not add as many programs in as possible to the to this chain of disasters? There we go. <laughs> force feedback joystick, head tracking. Oh no! I'm gonna keep that on the screen for you guys. Just flip that over. It does a little more of a tit. I, you, maximum tit. Right, let's go off to the pyramid here. I, I need to sort out my clutch pedals so that it's... Uh, 
more sensitive. Right, let's go to the pyramids, guys. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how this works. It's not a helicopter that enjoys being flown on the spot. The pyramids are over there. I can see one. There we go. Has it not updated the chat? Oh, well. So you naturally, when you find a helicopter, you're naturally like, oh, I'm flying slightly in that direction. Oh, yeah, you want to look down. It's a little bit juddery. I don't know if the judge is from the head tracking or from the uh, game being slow. I think there will be. Yeah, there's a little bit of like judderiness to it, even with the smoothing on. Oh well. <laughs> Flying with the trap more mouse. There's definitely a little bit an initial delay of there's still like a dead zone. There's definitely a delay between when you move. So I think I'd actually like a bit more smoothing to it, given that it can't be exact, but it definitely, like, you know, you need some form of head tracking for a helicopter. All right, Tej, hello. We're going to the Bent Pyramid. The unfortunately named Bent Pyramid. The uh, the Egyptian uh, corrupt Egyptian Empire police force. Ah, uh, <laughs> right, well, well, don't talk about that. It's all right. Oh, look at that water. Looks nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you either need VR or this for a helicopter. Or I mean, I guess if you put it with the other head tracking. Still having a, a hat on the controller's good nice for moving the old thing around, but I don't know what there is like an initial delay though, which is weird. I don't know. Um, did I only change the horizontal axis sensitivity? Maybe that's what it is. Let's have a look at that. This is hard to stay keeping the air. Let's just land it, and I'm going to uh, adjust some settings. I land on the road. <laughs> Let's land on this. Oh, we're landing in someone's garden. a nice field over there we'll go for that <laughs> now the overspeed's great with this helicopter because it does a barrel roll which is really exciting Not quite worked out how to get this. I've not quite got my landings in here. <laughs> I'm 
Not the smoothest. Right, let's adjust this setting. So, I'm running the one to one profile. Is that on? Oh, that's on you. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> Force feedback, look at my mouse. No, that's made them all smooth. I wonder if this moving is what's causing the... Because it doesn't work one-to-one, -one, Chris Phillies. So you can set it up so it's not one-to-one. -one. But you still have to think, even if you're moving your head a little bit, you still, because you can move your eyes in your head. So you, it increases the field of view of your monitor quite a bit. So you bet it's like you're making your monitor a bit wider as well. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely a... Uh It's like a 30 millisecond delay, I think. It's your phone here. Phone home. That's the one thing that VR does amazing. Because with VR, you don't get any delay. So I think the thing is, is like, if you know there's going to be a delay there, you, you kind of go with it being more abstract. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I noticed the delay, though, because specifically because I'm used to VR. It's more so that if you're an helicopter, if you want to just do that little looking out of a window a bit whilst you fly, or you want to look down at the instruments or look zoom into the instruments, it's that kind of a thing. Yeah, I, I did that before, Jeff. That, that is a good solution as well. The advantage of uh, the official track IR, or, or the, well, yeah, the official ones, or the ones that have the track IR trip, is that they have a 120 hertz camera in them as opposed to a 60, but 60 hertz is still good. Uh, yeah, it could, it could be from the game. Yeah, the delay could be from the game. It's possible. It's alright then. You had to buy. I think I I just used coat hanger when I made mine. Okay, I'll fix the chat. <laughs> you guys. Turn precision mode in the bottom right. How do I do that? F7. What does precision mode do? Yeah, this is track IR5. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the precision mode does. All right, Channel VR. Picking up more jitter. I think precision mode is applying motion curves to it. It's applying acceleration motion curves. Yeah. Well, what it's what it's doing is it's when you move, it's it's applying an initial uh, a faster acceleration and then deacceleration. So it catches up with what you've done faster, but I don't think that's necessarily a good thing to have. It, a prison, precision mode is actually, it's just smoothing. Yeah, I don't know, it's all right. It's, a, it's just a different type of smoothing. Probably better for you guys with it on. That's actually using that. Yeah, I'm using uh, driving sim pedals. <laughs> wow, you, you, this is the lesson you're learning. I don't know what lesson you're learning. You're learning something. I definitely think the one-to-one -one one's actually the best. Yeah, it's, I, I, I think the, the the problem is if you've used VR, <laughs> you've kind of like you're used to utterly perfect immaculate tracking. So because it still has like a little delay in it, you get you end up in a sense a bit like you might as well just use one of the other solutions that's free. Um, oh, you might as well use one of the other solutions that's free and just set it up abstractly. But then this does, this is more responsive, you know, and the camera works on it and the software's nice, so. Uh, no, it's... There's a whole bunch, when it comes to tracking this sort of thing, there's a whole bunch of variables it's a bit hard to go into. Yeah, no, I've, I have used these sort of things before, so it's not like my first time using head tracking. Uh, abstract, literal systems. As I say, I think if, you've, if you're used to VR, then it gets a bit, you know, you, you have an expectation for that instant motion, but this is fine. I think this is all right. I think with a bit of smoothing, we're pretty good. I don't think it's awkward to use. I think there's, there's a. It's one of those things that you definitely get used to. <laughs> it's trying to look like the thing you're flying, yeah. And the fact is, if you're going to fly a helicopter, you need some form of head tracking, be it VR or, you know, 
Well, let's not go above 100. Yeah, I think it's all right. This helicopter always wants to roll to the left. There's no trim on this helicopter. Well, it's not really it's not really comparable to VR. It's a different it's a different thing. It's just head tracking. It's a type of head tracking. VR uh, VR is a type of head tracking, but also with um, uh, you know the screen mounted on your head, and then there's multiple types of head tracking you can get. This this type of head tracking is relatively similar to how the the Oculus Rift DK2 and CV1 operates. It's not a it's not AR. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Every time, every time. I think this is all right. is okay I think it, I think it's a good solution for a lot of people for live stream is probably all right as well but yeah I mean if you're gonna basically well it's not shit is it it's a different thing it's like it's, a, it's just a different uh, look look I'm gonna t I'm gonna put you in the bent pyramid Yeah, I mean, for me, the reason to use something like this is with live streaming and also in VR, Microsoft Flight Sim doesn't run that fast. So for live streaming, or if you're playing like Euro Truck Sim and stuff, like that's why you use stuff like this. The problem is these type of head tracking solutions don't, um, they don't, um, they're not as fast as VR. So from an immersion point of view and realism point of view they don't they're not as good as VR but from a feature point of view it, you know, it depends what you want to get out of it not everything has to be literal like a nice feature of it is that you can run a lower field of view and still be able to look around and see stuff like you can't so flying like this with a helicopter if i was to use the hat alone to look around this would be a right nightmare but with track ir on it's mostly one-to-one -one, this actually works really well like i can look down at the pyramid there and i can fly and i can still fly the helicopter nicely around it so that's pretty cracking to be honest like that it's a lot harder to fly like this without it so if you're a helicopter pilot and you're not playing in vr well this is like the only option isn't it or you could use the other head tracking software but like this is a the track ir is the most refined version of head tracking that you can get it's pretty awesome like the other pyramid i, I, I like this i think you know, you just have to you you just have to get into you have to go right. It's not VR. <laughs> Delete VR expectations. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Gert tr tractor. I don't like the magnified aspect too much because I find it also magnifies the delay and it gives me motion sickness. But yeah, normally the way you would set up track IR is to be more sensitive but the, the, when you do that it means you have to set a curve in the middle of the dead zone and I don't like that I like it to be more linear and because I'm not looking behind me and I'm using a, a wide monitor it's not so much of a problem over 2 million stone bricks were used in the construction of the Great Pyramid nice by the way Mananyev why, why is T-Bags not coming and said hi I, I, I'm really offended really offended this is the red pyramid it's a, a red pyramid tea bag let's fly around it yeah this is awesome welcome to game of muscle sightseeing in helicopters Oh, man, I really like this helicopter. It's been growing on me. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, two million. Should have a bush talk radio. Oh, yeah, dog. F yeah. Don't say that, me, DBW. We're going to pile into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter plane. Pyramid of Dajosa. Where's the Great Pyramid? It's that's closer to the uh, city, isn't it? No, come on, guys. <laughs> Let's keep edgy political jokes. Unless, unless they're UK politics. I'm not getting involved in other countries' politics. You can take the piss out of the British government as much as you want. <laughs> other countries' problems are for other countries. Although, admittedly, the Gaza Strip stuff is partly Britain's fault, but, you know. <laughs> I can only keep track of one incompetent government. You've got to watch out for camels when you're flying this low. Whee! Yay, screw England! <laughs> England's all right. It's not totally terrible. There are worse countries. There's dumber things going on in other countries. But, you know. I, I'm i British. I can vote. So that means I can comment on British politics and complain about the corruption and stuff because it directly affects me. Whereas in other countries, I'm, I'm not a voter in those countries. I'm not necessarily versed in their history. I don't know all the details of it. I can observe stuff and go, well, that looks terrible. Or that's, that's obviously they're ignoring the science, but, you know, it's not. Unless unless I'd researched on something very specifically and studied it so I had a good understanding, then it's not, well, I'm not going to add anything of value and I'm probably going to say something that's wrong. Do they have Harriers in this? No, I don't think so. <laughs> there probably will be more tires. Oh, Pyramid of Dejosa. How's that pronounced? Yeah, d -Land Clip's basically the same thing, sort of thing, but it uses the P PlayStation Eye. Uh, it's a 60 hertz tracker. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, I've got a video on my channel on how to do it for free, so you could try it out. <laughs> this is the Pyramid I would have. Game of Muscle, we've built your pyramid. Are you, are you pleased with it, Pharaoh Muscle? Um, it's a little bit... It's a little bit non-pyramid-y. Non <laughs> I was expecting more of a spike on top. You ungrateful, Pharaoh. <laughs> but, okay, I'll accept my mouldy pyramid. It's a bit degraded. I mean, it was probably really nice when it was first built. Oh, fair enough. I thought the PSI was a 60 hertz camera. You can interpolate from 60 hertz and get good tracking though. Anyway, like um, the Oculus Rift cameras is uh, 60 hertz, I think, and that interpolates. But that also uses the uh, IMUs for the majority of the tracking, rather than the camera. Oh, Jesus, Jesus! Don't go above 100, otherwise we do a flip. Ah. <laughs> oh. How is comfortable is this for you guys to watch? Is this is this uh, better than VR? It's not juddling up and down because it doesn't pick up that finer movement. So whilst I'm talking, I'd imagine this is a much more comfortable thing to watch on a stream than VR. Very comfortable. You don't have issues watching me. A lot of people do, though. So. I mean, also, think about all the hot women that watch my channel. That want to see my face, you know. <laughs> There's your classic hover plane. 
1960s hover plane. <laughs> Artist Matthew Harvey, you behave yourself. Go back to painting your dog's faces and car bonnets. Flying to the other pyramids. There's a lot of pyramids in Egypt. They love building pyramids. I wonder if they have pyramid tea bags. <laughs> the bold, the bold head. Let's fly right over these trees. That'd be nice. Yeah, I, lo I love this. I love helicopters. I love just piddling around in Microsoft flights. This is to me. This is just so relaxing. Like helicopter blades. The potential of death at any second. You've got the whole earth to fly around. I could literally just fly around the earth at this height. Shit, there's some power mass there. Let's fly over the top of them. I could just fly around the whole earth like this. Maybe we should do that. Game of Muscle flies around the earth in a helicopter. It'll take at least, at this speed, we're doing about 100, how many knots? 90 knots, so 120 miles an hour. <laughs> it would take a while. How, how long is it? Uh, 256,000 miles. Is that about right? <laughs> Did the Airbus is a bit funky physics? Ah, oh, this is this is so good. I haven't got it installed, but no, I, I have flown the DCS Huey a fair bit, and that that is my favourite simulated helicopter. This is more of a challenge than the DCS Huey. What I'd like is something... I, I need to try like a little bird or something. The, the dynamics of the Huey, DCS Huey are, are amazing. But, um... It's a bit too easy to fly. I've got videos on my channel of me flying in VR. It's one of the first things I flew in VR, actually. 26,000. 256 to get to the moon. Wow, you know, same thing. Whoa! Loop the loop in the head. That's now we've got a method to counteract the barrel roll. Oh, this is so good. Like, I keep saying it. <laughs> I'm happy in this. What a loser. <laughs> what a what a fool. Imagine if you got to 24,901 miles and lost count. Shit. <laughs> 24,901.5 miles. Hang on a minute. Was it 900 or 700? Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't go around again now. The gazelle, that's it. That's like the uh, little bird, isn't it? Or is it close? Oh, no, no. The gazelle's... Oh, yeah, it's different again. That's, isn't that what the Russians added to the gazelle? Oh, you crack it. Don't crack your neck. Oh, let's fly down that little uh, road between the trees. I like these palm trees we've got here. A little bit low. Oh, so good. Oh, it's so nice to fly. Whee! Oh, there's a bridge there. Let's go over the top of that. See, one of the things, once you're going fast, helicopters fly a bit like an aeroplane. But some of them fly a bit like an aeroplane in a really bland way. On purpose, to make them smooth and easy to fly. And this actually flies really nicely. Great Sphinx! <laughs> if I still drank, I would do a live stream drinking helicopter flying, Russian helicopter pilot live stream. Oh, should we go to London and fly around the city? Whoops. Bit of, uh... The tech house is a bit too low. <laughs> louder for me. I need to adjust it. Oh, there's the Sphinx. Just 
tonight on BBC News. Israel and Palestinian conflict continues. Oh, that's the end of the BBC News. Right. Here's, look at these pyramids. The BBC News techno intro is ridiculous. It's pretty cool, though. Look at that. It's got museum entries there. It's really nice, isn't it? This is fantastic. It's bizarre that they didn't think to put helicopters in this first. Why is there a rocket launcher on top of this pyramid? Or is that is that what's holding the whole pyramid up? I think they're repairing them now. Look at that. So they, they were originally covered in gold, I believe. Or like there was silver. And then... Uh, not in real life, I haven't. No, I'd, I'd really like to go to Egypt. Space. <laughs> White limestone, and then they didn't have gold on top. A bit of turbulence. Someone's stolen some bricks. Spaceship won't be able to take off now. Look at that view of the city. Right, let's look at the Sphinx. Close. <laughs> Rise, you miserable bastard! Always complaining. I think you suffer from miserable gititis. Prime eat. What the hell is that? If you'd have said sliders, I would have gone okay. Fair enough. The sliders was terrible, but good. Yeah, it's weird that they didn't do helicopters to start with. I mean, I get it's a flight simulator, but helicopters allow you to appreciate the details a little bit more. Whoops. <laughs> Coming in a bit fast there. Hey, it seems to be working all right, yeah. We just literally just got it set up here. Why don't you try one of the uh, free solutions first? See what you think of that. It's not. Oh, I'm going to vandalise its face. Oh dear! Huge error. Whoa! Sphinx. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sphinx attack. Let's go to the Supreme Council of Universities. Woo! Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> that was a bit close. <laughs> it destroyed a priceless artifact. <laughs> I forgot to push the replay button. <laughs> Accidentally threw a threw a helicopter right into its nose. I don't know. Somehow we managed to miss those bills. It was all calculated. I don't. You know. I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> uh, Twenty. Well, I actually I did. I, I've overclocked my RAM actually since playing this last. Which I think has helped, you know. It's a wonder of the world. I'll tell you another wonder of the world. How idiots seem to get elected into governments. Oh, no, that's not a wonder. It's propaganda and corruption. <laughs> I haven't done a barrel roll yet, but you can do them in this uh, when you go too fast. Fish are all right, thanks, yeah. 
Right, we're going to... I'm just going to fly to the Supreme Council of Universities. Then we'll fly around. We'll go around London and see how well that runs. If anyone wants to join me in London. Should we fly really low here? Let's get a bit lower to the ground here. Whoop. Got caught my... That's cool. I got caught my own... Uh, water see there we'll go a bit lower here let's go down this road nice air bar replacement I'm actually a Teletubby I find that very offensive There's a tree there. It's not flying to the tree. Woohoo! It's really hard to tell how fast you're actually going. So, like, we're doing, uh, like, 90, but sometimes it can feel when you're lower, it feels like you're going faster than when you're higher because the ground is closer to you. Oh, there's a nice swimming pool there. That'd be nice. I'd like a nice Egyptian swimming pool. <laughs> it's how I get... Uh, yeah, it's my 3G aerial since, since the uh, COVID vaccine. <laughs> That's what happens when you get a COVID vaccine. You get an aerial on top of your head. Yeah, I mean, I could get the ear clip thing. We could do that. I don't mind looking like a tit, though, because that's just how I look like normally, so it's all right. Check this out. Look at these buildings. Testicle! Uh, it's different. Uh, testicle, it's a different thing. I I view, I view used track IR when it first came out as well. The, the thing is, it's not VR. It's not meant to be VR. It's just a way of doing head tracking in games. Supreme! I am the Supreme Council of the Universities! I have a green ceiling! Bow to my supreme superiority! Oh no! Replay's not working. <laughs> Come to the Supreme University! All for the most highly regarded education! You supreme leaders. <laughs> Egypt has the most supreme of universities. The Supreme Council. <laughs> because uh, I refreshed it, and I think because some people that had subscribed had become members last month didn't renew today, so we we dropped back down. So thanks to uh, thanks to those new members that kept us above 120. You are invited to the Supreme Council of Universities. Mm. Only the most supreme humans are welcome. You will be evacuated from the planet when the end times arrive. I'm flying around like a bloody drunk here. Jesus Christ! Let's let's go. Let's leave the Supreme. <laughs> Supreme Council of Universities. Let's head off to where should we go? Where's, we're going to fly somewhere else, and we're going. All right, let's let's check out this mosque. Why not? Music is oddly fitting. Hello, and welcome to Exploration Egypt. Experience the wonder of the Great Pyramids and the River Nile, the life source of the Middle East. On the majestic Experience Egypt Game of Muscle flight, 
We will take you to the Supreme Chancellery of the Universities and you will get to see Cairo in a way that you've never seen before. Experience Egypt today, today, today for only £14,000. Here you go. I could work for the Egyptian Tourist Board. What's that thing over there? Oh, we're going to the mosque. <laughs> More echo. You've been warned. <laughs> Thank you, Big Jerry. Take care, man. Thanks for popping in at this late hour. It's way past your bedtime. Don't forget to update your windows. Oh, look at this. This is a... This is a mosque and a half. It's like two mosques. It's a beast of a mosque. Look at that. I have to say... Uh, what what religion is it where they make food for you? They make awesome curries. Um, is it Sikh? Is it Gurdwaras? Is that is that Sikhism? Is it Sikhs that make food? Like they just give out food as part of the religion? I th all religions to do that. I'll, I'll make people cups of tea as part of my religion. Right. Check the mosque out. Whoa, come on. Kentucky. <laughs> right, let's land it in the, on a bridge or something in the, on the River Nile. Look at that view. That's a lot of buildings. Absolutely mental. Look how look how many buildings there are. <laughs> like, uh, no, I don't think it's Hindus. Hindus are vegetarians, aren't they? Typically, I'm not sure. I always get confused here. I need to re-educate myself. I think it's Sikhs. Maybe it's Hindu temples. Oh, there must be a Chernobyl Chernobylberry. Uh, um, add on that adds all the night like reactor and right you know all the details uh pre -pre details right i'm gonna land on the river and then we're gonna fly around london here are you ready guys hope you hope you're having a nice uh afternoon night i mean how many how many of you are watching from bed type bed in chat if you're in bed thank you for tuning in from bed bedford shine massive oh what's this over here is that another mosque it's an awesome building. Egyptian Museum. That looks cool. It's nice. Look at that building. Let's check that out a bit close. A bit lower. Desk. Bed. Ingar. Sikhs. I had, because uh, I used to live near Leicester, there's a lot of uh, Sikhs in Leicester. They're always like, su like super friendly. But, you know, don't upset a Sikh because they've got a knife and they'll stab you with it. <laughs> I don't think they would, but... I think uh, Sikh Sikhism as a religion is a um, very pacifist orientated religion, I believe. Look at that. Do you think they have mummies in there? They don't have all the mummies because the British government stole them. <laughs> we stole them. Sorry, Egypt. We stole your mummies. We didn't steal any of your daddies, though. Just your mummies. We're not interested in, in daddies in the UK. Just mummies. Look at that! Cairo Tower. Got some cars glitching out a bit. They could do yeah, they could do with a bit of polish this area. Still looks pretty good. I mean obviously if you're flying in the plane you're not gonna notice this stuff. The cars are going faster than us. That tower looks pretty cool. Look at that. It's 
That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like the uh, BT Tower, but better constructed and not as tall. Is that uh, got a lift in it? Or do you just walk up it? That's fantastic. Fantastic. I wonder if there's a little restaurant up there. Quite detailed, isn't it? Right, let's land on a rooftop. Let's land by the swimming pool. We can jump off the roof into the swimming pool. It's nice, it's nice architecture, though. What in London we have... In the UK, we have, like, really shitty architecture for modern stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, stupid design. Where they're like, oh, it's so modern. It just looks crap. <laughs> like, you know, the shard just looks like something out of Batman. What is going on with the water there? Bloody hell. I'm going to land on that uh, casino. Oh, there's a casino. I didn't know you were... I didn't know you could gamble in Egypt. Isn't Egypt... Um... Hello, Martikin Muppets. Isn't Egypt um, Islamic? Or, like... Well, I guess it's a mixture, isn't it? You're not allowed to... Uh, Muslims aren't allowed to uh, gamble, are they? And they're not allowed to get into debt. Come over Bristol. What's, it, what's Egypt a mixture of? There's stuff on the... Oh, it's, like a, it's got like a TV broadcast on it. Well, we're not landing on that. Islamic and Christian. So, I, I guess the Islamic people wouldn't gamble, but Christians maybe would. Right, we've got to find a building to land on here. Let's land on that straight building straight ahead. I highly recommend getting this helicopter, guys. I've already got... Well, I got it for free. <laughs> but if I had bought it, I'd have got my value from it already. Very fun to try and fly. Oh, jeez. Come on. Ah. Get stuck in like a... It does not want you to fly on the spot, this helicopter. Left a bit more, matey. Oh, jeez. We missed it. Come on. Oh. Oh no! Ah, oh, the building's. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, the roof's a little bit less solid than I was expecting. Egyptian buildings are made out of marshmallow. Okay, let's find another building to land on. Bloody hell! <laughs> that would explain why that was doing that. Let's land in the football field. Bloody marshmallow roof! You can't make your rooms out of marshmallow. Hologram building. Egypt's not even real. Oh, come on. Oh dear. Stop rocking around. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Just want to come in smoothly and land it in the middle of the field here. 
Well, that'll do. That was an awful landing. This is why helicopter pilots do this as a land. You're like, you, uh... Oh, dear. You get a bit... Of, you basically land it like a plane. Let's try and do that. It's coming around. <laughs> no, even that wasn't very good. I just want to do a smooth landing. Uh, no, I don't know. Well, I might, I might use the replays on, on a clip. Right, we're going to London, guys. I just want to land. <laughs> we're not going to fly to London because it'll take a long time. Right, come on. Oh, man, the horizon looked mental there. Right, we're going to come across it down from here. You can really use, like, the downward momentum to... Okay, I can, I can get how you could land this a lot quicker. You use the downward momentum and then use that momentum and to then push up the cyclic at the last minute. The, the cyclic, the collective at the last minute. Awesome. That's good fun. That's so good fun. <laughs> right. Should we go to London? Fly around London? Londinium? Uh, track IR's working good though. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, Red X. Thanks for watching, man. See you. See you next stream. This is like the late night chill stream time. We we start getting. We should start getting all the. Um, we should start getting all the uh, New Zealanders popping in. They'll be like, "Hello, oh, good day, mate." Okay, let's go to London. Should we take off from uh, Heathrow, uh, London City? Oh, should we fly up the... Let's fly up the Thames. Take off at uh, South End Pier. South... I didn't know there's an airport in South End. Burling Airfield. Let's take off here. Let's fly to London. <laughs> Look how small the runway is. Okay. You're, you're in Hollywood. Nice. Huge ass. Uh, London City is too close to the city. It's already in the city. I want to fly up the Thames. Should take like 15 minutes. 100 knots or so. Yeah, hey, uh, track IR is totally solid. I, d I, th I think I might get the clip and just put that on the side. I've Velcroed it on here though, so I can just take this off unless I'm playing flight sims, which is quite nice. Hello, Saguta McCurgy. Um, hello. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Welcome along. I'm good, thanks. Hope you are. Appreciate you tuning in again. Tune in, tune in, in tune in, 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 South End Pier. Right. Let's go. Where are we going? North. We want to go westerly. So that's towards London. So I'll be like that way into the right a bit. Give it a bit of left. I know some weird grass strip. I think this is um, so uh, on this near Essex and stuff. Uh, they used to use a lot of these fields for like air, 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 air um, ships, you know, like uh, the Hindenburg and stuff, and also for testing them. It's weird how it... Yeah, it's weird. I've not quite got the smooth takeoff with this right. <laughs> I 
Oh, we can take the doors off. Check this out. There we go. Look at that. Hey, George. Mario Lemieux, best ever player for Pittsburgh, right? <laughs> Don't say Forsberg. <laughs> Look at that. Feels look nice. This is like this is like uh, UK in the summer. It normally looks grey and shitty. You can, this part of UK is actually quite pleasant in the summer. It's, we're supposed to be having a heat wave coming up soon, actually, so that'd be nice. These fields are definitely quite pleasant in the UK. I only said to take the bloody doors off. I <laughs> I don't uh yeah I don't, I don't watch NHL anymore. I was used to, I used to be uh, I used to watch it. Tree. <laughs> oh, is it nice fields? How nice is this? <laughs> nice grass. Uh, it's, the problem with NHL, if you live in the UK, the time of it's really bad. And it's it's hard to watch on the internet. So when I used to watch it was um, back when the internet... Like, so I used to have to watch it on Real Player. I don't know if you remember Real Player. I don't know how old you are. But... This is in like two, like 90s and 2000s, <laughs> 97, 98, uh, 99, and uh, well, like real when Real Player first came out. <laughs> and you try watching NHL on a 56k, it was absolutely impossible. Oh, like 2002. Oh my God, watching watching NHL like a hockey, you couldn't see the hockey puck. You could just about see the players. Oh, that's not too bad. Look at that. It's like a school, I think. That's what he was saying, Urids. Urids. Look at all these Victorian houses. Oh, there's the train line that goes into central London. It does, you know, it's pretty Brit. It looks pretty British. I'm pretty British. You see the houses. I'm in the house. It's spot on gardening. <laughs> Fair. All right, Governor. They talk, this is Essex, so they all talk stupid. This is like the dumbest part of the UK. <laughs> Anyone from Essex? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't really think that about people from Essex. It's just a funny joke. Please don't stab me, anyone from Essex. <laughs> Anybody need to go to the toilet? <laughs> I've never been to Essex. It's probably all right. Probably all right. Ah, oh, no, you do. What is this? Oh, is this that? There are a lot of military ballots up here. I'm in my pot instead, smoking the pot. This is this is great. Controversial, except it isn't. We've got an American lorry. Look at that. He doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> Left, right. Oh, he's trapped. He's not getting in there. Sorry, it's closed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, look at the pier. South End Pier. It's time for the South End Pier. I didn't know there's a fairground down here. This water looks nice. Ah, uh, Game Tech. Game Tech's not from Essex. Game Tech lives near me, unless he's moved. Hopefully we'll get to be up with Game Tech. I met, I've met Game Tech in London once, briefly. I didn't realise it was him. Oh, the shadow's down. That's cool. Um, <laughs> Flavia asking me a number. Um, yeah, I met Game Tech in a London pub once. It was all right. So, uh, it, was, uh, it was a bit of a weird event. It was a bit awkward, but hopefully I get to see him again. It'll be nice to actually chat properly. Right, let's fly along the pier. This is fantastic. This is actually running. The frame rate's pretty good on this, you know. 
I think the uh, sim, I think Microsoft Flight Sim actually handle this. Watch the replay feature. Thomas the Tank Engine. Doo, 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 doo. That's uh, me implementing replays like a boss. Uh, it is the track IR. It's the 100% legit track IR, which isn't a Chinese company that's completely fabricated the same processor and then rebundled it at all, I promise. How long is South MP? Has it got a train line on it? What on earth? I didn't know the South MP was like a mile long. I want to go. I want to visit South MP, guys. Anybody want to uh, see a live stream? <laughs> I wonder what the mobile signal's like on South MP. Pretty die of old age walking to the end of it. I think this is track IR5. It's the 120 hertz one. Bloody hell, there better be something good at the end of the pier. Maybe there's a guillotine. Ah, <laughs> oh, Gary, are you, are you up here? Are you this way? Oh, we could kayak. Oh, Jesus, there's a breeze. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bit of, a, bit of a breeze pushing us there. The problem is the, uh, there's a nuclear power plant near here, and if you kayak near it, within two miles of it, they come out and shout at you. Actually. <laughs> so what's at the end of the pier? Solar panels. Why is this, why is this pier so like what is this like actually just a sewage pipe and they were like well let's let's put a pier on top of it I paid like a I paid 125 quid for it which is probably not a good price I I just wanted to get it to review I probably wouldn't I wouldn't have bought it unless I did live streaming you know Can we land on the pier Okay, let's land on South MP. Is there an art gallery on it or something? <laughs> you walk to the end of it and uh, you die. This is where people in the UK go to uh, end their lives. <laughs> this is what you have to do. It's part of the law in the UK. Um, you walk to the end and that's it. You, ju you just vanish. You disappear into a fog. Okay, let's try and land on the end here. This helicopter does not like you flying in one spot. <laughs> it's like it hates it. You would have thought that helicopters would like to fly in one spot generally, a little bit, like, kind of. Not this one. As soon as you get stationary, it starts can't decide if he's going forwards, backwards, up or down. Oh! Oh! Not quite. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> That's South MP, <laughs> Fortunately, the water's shallow. We can get out and swim. Get out and swim. It'll all be okay. <laughs> ah, nice calm day for a swim. <laughs> maybe if we go reverse on the uh, props, it'll flip back over. Or maybe not. Can we go underwater here? No. In the sewage. I really wanted to look at the underside of the vehicle, you know. Right, let's take off and fly straight to London here. I don't have the slew mode set up, which would be a lot quicker than reloading, but... Whoopsie! It's the longest pier in the world. I think they're trying to make up for something. 
Let's change the time of day here. Go for morning. And let's have uh, scattered clouds. That look nice. Got distracted there by the bloody pit. That's what they put it there. It's a trap. <laughs> they always get you with that pier trap. You've got to be careful. One minute you're happy, the next minute the pier's got you. Deadly pier, that. Many a helicopter pilot's died. Oh, guys, it's congratulations. You're now watching Midnight Muscle. Midnight Muscle. Right, here we go. That's better. I think you need to give it a little bit of collective and then and then once it's the RPMs catch back up after giving a bit of collective. You can then come off the uh, collective. Uh, well, they can do if that's what you're into. If you like helicopters. <laughs> it grows every time. Yeah. That, it, it feeds on the blood of helicopterists. I'm in the helicopter. You once bought a KA-50. What's a KA-50? Can <laughs> see your T-cam? Yeah, we're just going to fly up the uh, River Thames here. Hello, Dan Lockie. Yo! How's it going, man? Thanks for joining in. What country are you in, Dan? We need, like, flags by people's names. <laughs> or so I can remember where people are from. Uh, what if you have a miserable time on it, Pirate Allen? Is it a pleasure pier if you're not happy? Miserable pier. It's the world's longest miserable pier. <laughs> I am finding this displeasurable. Ah, DCS, black shot, okay. Right, off we go. You broke you. Oh, hello. Wow. So what is this town? Is it which which part of what is what what are the town names in Essex? It's South End, probably. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! I'm Gabriel Mavu. I'm Mavu Mavu. What are you doing? I wish I could be you out there. Bloody hell! South End Pier might be the longest pleasure pier. I'm the thickest YouTuber. <laughs> Jesus. Who let me use a computer? That's exactly how you speak. <laughs> That's how I speak. Oh, God damn it. I swear I've got brain damage. Ever since the COVID thing, I swear I, I have brain damage, but I'm just going to roll with it. There's nothing I can do. Right, let's get to the river. Oh, a bit of construction going on there. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It's nice. Uh... Welcome to Police Camera Action. On today's episode, we fly over Essex where some local rude boys have stolen a pensioner's car. The Essex Police Air Force are tracking the car through the town and the pursuit continues.
Yeah. I don't, we're, we're, we're pretty polite here. I don't really swear that much. We do. Have, the problem is we do have, like, young people uh, watching and people's kids and stuff. So, I have to try. Uh, no, I think I've got V-Sync on, though. Uh, no, I don't think it's screen tearing. Like, there's a little bit of jitter, but it's not really screen tearing. Is it screen tearing for you? Do British people have cop shows, right? Yeah, they do. They do, mate. They definitely do, yeah. Yeah, but it's not like uh, not like what you got in America, mate. Yeah, it's totally different over here, mate. Oh, you know. But not so much anymore. We used to. You can do a barrel roll. You can't do a loop. Look here, Bob and Biscuits. We, were you not here with the other helicopter stream where we did the loop? <laughs> and the, we did a barrel roll and the helicopter went... And then just crashed into the ground. That was literally the noise it made. That, w that wasn't a exaggeration. You British? <laughs> Why, you come to the pub and have a pint? <laughs> right, we've got no Americans watching it. Yeah, we tried no shit, mate. <laughs> I should do a live stream in like a that accent. You been in that recently, mate? You been in that like, like, biscuit? Dunking the biscuit in that, mate? Got a, he's got a shooter. Oh, he's only gone and blown the bloody dolls off. Uh, I don't know. Probably like in a few months' time, I'd have thought. Who knows? So hang on. What is this? I don't even know what this tributary is. Is it just another... Presumably that's a River Thames. Then it's a River Medway. So what that? What? What on earth, what on earth is this? <laughs> Shut up, Tinky Winky. What's this? We found another stream. Does this turn into a canal or something? This might turn into... You yeah, Muppet! Laddie Muppet! I don't know anyone that talks like a Londoner. Hey up, Rick! Someone's flying behind me. I can't see him. My head doesn't go that far. <laughs> Need to fly up the Thames a bit quicker. Oh no! Oh no! 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 I've done it again. I've done it again. Oh bollocks! Oh, freak! Landed it. Whoa! From okay. Shit. I went, I overspeeded. It does that. Oh, God damn it. Keep doing that. You've got to watch out. I need to turn the wind noise up. <laughs> Helicopter suicidal. All right, let's try that again. We're going to set off a bit further up. Let's start here. Oh, it's if you go if you overspeed it it flips over. But there's no like alarm, like there's no warning. <laughs> it's just like it just goes brap. Sorry, sorry for flying me. You're now dead. Oh, you're a Londoner, you shag. <laughs> Are you northern or southern London? What on earth? Okay. Oh, that doesn't help. Hello? Hello? Oh, come on. Recovered. There we go. I always liked, I always like to start my helicopter flights plumbing towards the ground, upside down. Right, we can resume our peaceful flight here after that little excursion. Yeah, so you could be going forwards like this, and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm not going any faster. I think the key is to keep the collective back a bit, and that way you can't... Nope, you can still over... No. Yeah, I don't know. See, if you go above 100, you're in trouble. 
you can gradually get creeping speed and you don't realise it. We're flying into London, Johnny L. What about you, mate? You're going to be started shaking. Oh, uh, that's all you need sometimes. Hang on, let's get the window back open. There we go. It's nice having a... I need to turn the wind sound up. Let's just do that now. Oh, where is it? General audio sound. Well, is it environment? Weather, airports, urban. Pumps, hydraulics. All right, rise night night, man. Where's there's no wind option? Maybe wet. Maybe that is weather. That would make sense. I'll turn this down. We'll leave weather turned up. I do, won't it? I think that'll... Hello? What's going on here? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I think it was just the uh, choke, the, the carb. <laughs> Casual plane flying around there. Okay, here we go. What are you doing, man? Seem to be... Struggling for power here. Eh? What's going on here with the audio? Can <laughs> take the London Air, probably. That makes sense. Oh, he's done it again. Why is it doing this? Oh, it's inverting the controls for some reason.
What camera am I using? Oh, this is... is <laughs> for some reason, that's breaking the helicopter. I don't know why. Uh, let's reset. Let's just... I'm just going to reset it back to what it was. <laughs> General... I don't know why they, that's messing it up. It's probably like the physics because of the way the aircraft operates. I just wanted to turn the wind up. Right. See if we can get the aircraft back on its uh right, there we go, it's back up to speed now. What on earth is he doing? Right, let's go. We're off to London. Sorry, guys, you're taking time here. Bloody out. <laughs> what is he doing? Tree. Copy and paste to London, what do you mean? Yeah, don't, you got to be careful where you fly kites. They're very sensitive about that. There we go. What did you do in London, dope smoker? I hope you had a bloody good time. Dope. Yeah, the if it doesn't have the helicopter, it loads up a default plane. <laughs> so it's yeah. So you end up with all these hover planes. I think I need to update the uh, the Airbus. I think that's what's causing that problem. So I I need to grab that in a minute. If you guys can shout at me when we're going too fast, that would be handy. I should be able to feel it through my force feedback. Oh, is there a water treatment plant here? Oh, this is where all the gas stuff is stuck. There's a whole bunch of uh, gas production and storage places, factories and stuff down here. There we go. We're on our way. We're on our way, guys. This is the River Thames. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, he's, he's binned it.
fly towards London. Have any of you been in helicopter flight? In London, near London. I can't tell how high off the ground I am here. Bloody, this is a problem with water. <laughs> it's impossible to tell if I'm moving. Oh, there it is. There we go. It's my shadow. I can't, I don't seem to be having the right amount of power, which is weird. I might go back to the menu and reload in because it's, it's messed up. Let's land on the, let's land somewhere. land over here and then we can restart the flight over here. I'm not flying sideways. Only a little bit. Woo! Oh, there's a little gap there we can land in. Let's go for that. We can land by their house and get a cup of tea. Yeah, as I said, it's like the, RP the RPMs are messed up. Alright, Axel, thanks for tuning in. do. Right, let's, I'm going to load up. Oh, coffee would be nice. Do you want to grab me one? Okay. Is the handbrake. Oh, I left the handbrake on. <laughs> I always make that mistake in a helicopter. You never leave the handbrake on. Right. Let's start from here. Hopefully, hopefully it has the right settings and isn't messed up. Here we go. Track IR's all working now. Yo, Dan. Hello again. <laughs> Track IR's working great. So I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I, I think I'll definitely keep it. Tinky winky hat. It's sorted. It's doing the trick. It's doing what we need it to do. We'll have to try Euro Truck Sim with it as well. Oh, what's that? Great. Okay. There's like a nature reserve there. Helicopter landing. I tried the race room today. The graphics look so bad. What do I need to do? Uh, put everything on full? 
<laughs> the, the graphics, it depends what tracks. It's not the most recent of games, but I mean, you know, it's just how it is, how it be. The racing's good, so. There you go, that sounds better. Yeah, it's definitely like there's not enough RPMs before. Yeah, I know Steve Nacy. Um, auto rotation. We we did we did try a few auto rotation landings uh, the other day. I turned the names off because they uh, cover up the screen. E Howell. They, you end up with like name tags all over the place in, in busy airspace. It's like 40 pounds depends what you want from it if, if you want to do like um for the rank racing it's really good but you're paying for the rank rate like for the fact that you can get good racing you, you know you're not really paying for the graphics here we go Oh, you just mean you just mean landing with the ro the helicopter's rotating, but you have the thing off and then you pull it back up. So just like low power and then giving it power. Oh, thanks, Nigel. I need to update the uh, model so I can see it. I, I, I just need to update to the latest Boeing. There we go. Yeah, look, you can see the RPM. You should have both the both of them should be in the middle there. So the RPM was low. I don't know what you control the engine RPM with. I mean, on that you control it with the um, collective rotation on the collective. But I don't know. I think the mod might break the uh, the, the automated RPM settings. There might be a problem with the mod when you go to the menu. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see the city soon. Uh, McLaren's a bit further northeast from here. Hello, PG. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I think a lot of... Um, when I've seen a lot of helicopter landings with these helicopters with skids, you know, they people tend to land them with a bit of forward and like slide into the landing a bit. It seems to be the easiest way to get a smooth landing. What's that over there in the middle of the water? Is it like a sunken boat? What on earth? <laughs> it's a sunken boat. Owned. Sell the offices that, that what's based in. It's a nice little nature reserve here. Be nice to walk around. <laughs> Crash into Green Man Gaming's offices. Uh, well, you know. There you go. You can see the city from here a little bit. Pruned enemy down. 
I don't remember Enemy Down. I can't ruin it if you never played it. <laughs> well, we're shaking. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah, the cockpit starts... Well, you're right. Once the cockpit starts wobbling, that's when you're in trouble. I think that's meant to be the Dartford Crossing. We need to get... Uh, I need to get the Orbex sorted out so it replaces the stuff that's not in flight sim, but... Um, do you know what I mean? It leaves the Microsoft stuff. I think, I think the updated Orbex does that, actually. See the shard, the Terry Wharf. Oh no, we're shaking again. <laughs> Man, it's subtle. It's a real. It's really subtle. You do get a little bit of a warning, but it's very subtle. Have we got any British people still watching at this time? British, you're in the, you're not gone to bed. You've been naughty boy. <laughs> what are you doing up at this time? Oh no. Maybe we're all right. Like a hundred, it starts shaking. I don't know when it starts road when it rolls around. Still here? Oh no! We wasted my afternoon watching this rubbish. British. Problem with this is when I play Microsoft Flight Sim, I want to play driving sims. When I play driving sims, I want to play flight sim. Counts DJ, DJ, DJ. No, I can't do a. <laughs> I don't know even how Belfast. I don't know how that would work. I don't. I don't know Belfast accent. I can fly my Belfast though. Does that count? Oh look, is it Liddles? Get ready for the frame rate to tank as we get closer to London here. It's quite hilly around here. This is like, uh, I think this is Gravesend. Where Pocahontas died. <laughs> Gravesend? It's quite hilly. I thought it was flat. Lesson learned. Am I going to receive a CSL DD? I think so eventually. Uh, you know, I think I'm on the list. It's alright. I think uh, Boosted Media... Chris Hay and uh, Sim Racing Garage will get one early to review. And then I think the rest of the YouTubers get one. I think they've already sent them out, to be honest, to those three, I'd imagine. Oh no! Hang on, which train line is this? Is this the uh, high-speed rail line? I don't remember the high-speed rails going through here. 
Oh, that's the high-speed rail line there. Oh, I don't know. I'm confused. It goes underneath the Thames. So I don't know which line this is. Oh, this will be the one that goes into... Um, what's underneath the Shard, guys? What's, this, what's the train station underneath the shard? I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, I think they look all right, Antoine. I did a video talking about the announcement on my channel. We're all doomed! <laughs> doomed, I tell you! Hang on, is this London City Airport we're approaching here? We missed the Thames Barrier. What's that? Oh, it's just before it. London Bridge, yeah, that's it. It's London City. Airport, isn't it? <laughs> it's just like a runway in the, in the. It's where they used to, the docks used to be. You got a Tate and Lyle sugar factory there on the left. She's like random Victorian houses down there. I landed on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> Damn, you're not mocking my Teletubby hat. Chris Bow. My beautiful Teletubby hat. Right, here we go. EDXL Hospital. The lights for the uh, London City. Oh, very low. <laughs> There's my boat. Ah, oh. hope my air tracker still works with that LED light on. There's my, that's my yacht there. That they've got these boats modelled in. That's a, a phone cable boat, like a cable layer. It's a drone on. Like a fake mustache. 
Oh man, there's a lot of turbulence by these buildings. Hereditary, what is it? Is it about uh, nepotism or something? Or is it a horror film? Doing it okay. We're not on the uh, we're not on the laser scan part, the Eldar bit yet. It's weird, actually. I thought this part was laser. Maybe it's not. Hang on a minute. Shouldn't this be laser scan? Why is it not? Uh, do I need to install it again? Still, it's weird. Number <laughs> one suicide. What's that? Gonna land on Buckingham Palace. Right, I need to find out why this isn't laser scanned again. Very strange. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. In the middle. 
Hello, Queenie. We're coming for a cup of tea. <laughs> I think she's interested. Right, let's uh, find out what's going on with... Uh... I don't know why London's not 3D. Not too shabby, mate. It's on the marketplace. You have to enable it, don't you? Is it in marketplace? No. Is it on here? Um, I'm confused. World, yeah, look, World Update United Kingdom. Pretty sure London is laser scanned in this, isn't it? It's not be I'm pretty sure that was one of the things they did. That was the big part of this update. So why is that why is it not loading it? Maybe it's in the graphics settings. Maybe I messed up my settings. Uh I do play R Factor 2 occasionally. Do you guys know why it might not be uh, working for me? Very strange. This <laughs> is a flat soulless place. Ah. Oh. Let's try it in a plane. In graphics and photogrammetry were turned off. Hey, okay. I don't think that's a setting.
the best it's the best foot cam for wabbit he, he, this is the only reason he watches the channel Maybe it just bugged out when loading into it. Woo! Loading times of this are fantastic, aren't they? What is going on? Why can't I see London? The other way. <laughs> Rewind. It's pretty cool, isn't it? This is a, that's a pretty realistic field of view, what it's on now. Pretty close to a normal, a real field of view. It actually runs better with the helicopter because the plane it has to load a lot more quickly. With the helicopter it can load stuff and has plenty of time.
right, let's check the uh, settings. Where was it in the uh, general data? Let's see, photogrammetry is on. Maybe the Bing servers are down or something. <laughs> no, you don't, Zigo Wills. Maybe the servers are down. Right, let's let's go to uh, Paris and see because I've that that was working before. What do you mean the content? Installed up to date. Procedural buildings. Maybe that's what it is. Um, London City shouldn't be installed because I've got Orbex version of it. Man, out. <laughs> okay, this is not quick to download, is it? Can you fly whilst he's doing this? No, what a. <laughs> That's a bit of a fail. Like. Like they, I don't know why the game uses this update that they have. Like I don't know why they don't. Um, oh, there we go. It's going through them now. I, I don't know why it doesn't update outside the game. Do you know what I mean? It's really weird. IR Golf. Well, you think, like, why not use Microsoft Store to update it all? No, Tim. It would make sense for it to just use Microsoft Store. Like, you, you have to update outside the game and inside the game. It's like, 
why not have an external update, uh, especially with all the mods and everything? Yeah, it's like, it's really badly thought out. Track IR armor. Oh, yeah. We need this to work in uh, in Hell Let Loose. That'd be handy. I wonder if we can get them to add it to Hell Let Loose. So I was missing, like, some English landing challenges, you know. I guess Mark's off flights too is, is for it's a sim that's for people that aren't in a hurry. <laughs> it is a relaxing sim. And you need a you need like a pint of tea before you like try and play it. I don't know if they will add head tracking to hell let loose. Because it does give you some advantages that you don't have if you wouldn't have it. Like you could peek round corners better and stuff. I think the main the main games that you'd use track IR is flight sims, uh Euro Truck Sim, American Truck Sim, Armor. That's it really. Like any I don't know anything else where you'd really want to use it. Right, here we go. I'm going to see if Paris works anyway. <laughs> Relaxing frame rates, exactly. You wouldn't want anything to happen too quickly, would you? Oh, there's a bit of a... Look at this. A bit of a tornado coming towards the UK. Watch out. Right, where's Paris? I always get confused as to where Paris is. <laughs> Mech Warrior 5. Oh, uh, do you remember that they didn't they cancel Mech Warrior? They were gonna do a new one. They always ruin Mech Warrior. It's like they they and the early Mech Warrior 1 and 2, they were trying to be simulators, and then they were like, ah oh, no, it's too hard. It's such a shame. Because we had um like Steel Battalion. There was this whole thing in like the two thousands where it was like let's make some let's make simulators out of everything, you know, mech sims, flight sims, World War Two combat sims. Like Operation Flashpoint Wars, it was like, yeah, Sims, Sims, train Sims, Sims, woo! And then it was like, ah, oh, no, we need to release everything for an Xbox controller. Hello, Full House. Yeah, we got it working. It's pretty good. Pretty good. How you doing, man? Oh, dear, I've got my... Uh... The helicopter profile selected in. There we go. I think you might like this uh, for last. Pretty good. Okay, hang on. Where was Paris? Yeah, even like, do you remember like the old Need for Speed games? They were trying to be simulators. Where the bloody hell's Paris? There we go. Rommel. Full House is always too busy playing bloody car mechanic bollocks. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, Need for Speed Porsche was awesome. Uh, I think there's a couple in development, but nothing that I think is coming out anytime soon. Or maybe maybe like an, an uh, the next Seto Corsa Competition game. Probably I'd imagine that'll get announced towards the end of this year. Oh, what's that? That's nice. Alice of Versailles. Show off in it. Yeah, there's a lot. There are a lot of trees in the uh, in the French cities. They tend to line the trees down the roads. It's quite nice actually. It's a good way of. Um, it stops, you know, when it's really hot. It gives you a nice shade. Uh, yeah, you'd be, uh, what was it called? B-17 Flying Fortress. Is what you're on about. That was really good, yeah. The AI in that was really good as well. I remember when that was being developed and they announced it, I was like, wow. Uh, Lucas, yeah, it's not it's not really because it, you don't have to have it one to one and you know, you're only moving yet you don't if you move your head that much, you're looking at the left hand side of the monitor or the right hand side of the monitor, especially with ultra wides. Thanks for subscribing, welcome along. Oh hello. 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 <laughs> hello. 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 Eee. Well, that's the subscribers for today. <laughs> Nigel. Oh, man, I, I'm not tired, but I, oh, it's so annoying. I hate sleeping. Sometimes I feel like just playing games and live streaming, you know, for like 20, 30 hours. But then I'll definitely feel bad the next day. <laughs> I like just casually chatting, you know, taking it easy. Full house. Oh, I love the idea of flight sims where you have multiple players, man, in different... Yeah, you can do that in... There's a couple of games you could do that in. I think that is fun, though. Yeah, like a World War II flying fortress. And you're working as a team. I'm surprised no one's remade that. These trees are nice, aren't they? I mean, uh, that was in the old Battlefield as well. Battlefield 1942, uh, Desert Combat Modder, let, let you do that. And obviously the helicopter. Oh, the helicopter is really cool in Battlefield 3, where you can have a gunner and a pilot. That's really fun. You have more conversations. Fair enough. I don't, I, to be honest, I really, I don't, I don't see many people in real life at the moment, obviously because of COVID. So... <laughs> Oh, just, yeah, the Star Trek VR game, yeah. It's proper random. know at what point it goes uh, laser. I 
Oh yeah, Pavlov's awesome. They've got some really good maps in that as well. I, I haven't played it for a while, but... Time to get the wine down. <laughs> oh dear. A cemetery down there. Oh no, look, this is laser scanned. So he's working on Paris. Looks awesome. Now oh, London's just messed up. Arc de Princes. Oh, should we land in the uh, stadium? Oh, this is fantastic. David Leg, um, if you've got like the the whichever pack it is, you just need the cars and the tracks. Then um, it's, you need to get your ranking up by playing on the rookie servers, and then you can race in the uh, non-rookie servers and uh, have a good time. Yeah, so I wonder why London's not laser scan. I don't know what's going on. It must have just be messed up. Maybe the Bing data is just messed up, or they're redoing it or something, or something's happened. Yeah, there's way more built. I mean, look at these buildings. It looks like the Death Star. Le Death, the, the Death the Star. Oh, we. Oui. Oh, this makes me miss France. I haven't been to France for years. I have, like, weirdo nostalgia for France from uh, living there as a kid. <laughs> it's proper strange. Any of you in chat ever do like a, 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 a French exchange when you were kids? It's proper weird. Oh, look at this. It's like the BT. <laughs> it's like the BBC building. Live and kicking building, but the pa Paris version. Bloody hell, that's massive. C'est le grand. C'est, c'est le huge. C'est magnifique. C'est trop grand. Etoile, etoile, etoile de mort. <laughs> you got off with a French set. Well, you know, fair enough. Why not? I uh, I was there for six months, but then I went again for like another month, and then again for like a few weeks. So it was good. Alright Spitfire, thanks for joining us man, have a nice one. Check this out. <laughs> ah, merde. <laughs> oh look at that. Block of blockiness. Uh, what did I exchange with the French? Despair, misery and tea making techniques. Uh, I was like 12, 13. Favourite French dish? I really like the, um, they have a pudding in France that's like, um, it's like custard. It's like vanilla custard, but it, you have it on its own. It's really nice. Look at this little, little football pitch next to the Eiffel Tower. They don't show that in the films. Oh, man, I love helicopters. Just floating around. We've got to fly underneath the Eiffel Tower. Floating around. This is a better way to play Marks or Flight Sim. Why did they not put helicopters in to start with? I mean, it's not like they needed to. This is fine. Let's take a look at the top. I've never had frog's legs. To, to be honest, car uh, frog's legs and um, fr 
frogs legs and um, uh, snails are not like a huge thing in France <laughs> like English people are like ah oh, they eat uh, frog legs all the time Ugh. but uh, honestly uh, oysters yes but English people eat them <laughs> we land on the top of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, set the change of daytime here. Oh, look at that! Holy nipples! Very hard to fly <laughs> with your left hand <laughs> while choosing the weather. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Look what you made up in here. God, yeah, you really have to be on top of the helicopter. All right, let's use my left hand <laughs> to do the settings. That'll be easier. Oh, look at that! There we go. Better time of day. Uh, uh, well, the, the snails don't really taste of anything. That's the problem with snails. This is like the only aircraft I've flown in a sim where literally just stay <laughs> just floating in one direction takes like effort. But it's really good fun. Right, we're gonna fly under the Eiffel Tower. Let's drop down. But as soon as you come off the collective, you have to give it opposite rudder pedals. We got this. I'm actually getting good at this. <laughs> I'm going to crash into the bloody awful tower now. I said that. It was awesome. If anyone decided to jump off the Eiffel Tower there, like that guy testing the parachute, <laughs> it would have been a bad time. All right, let's fly through it quickly. I'm going to fly around that tower and then fly underneath the Eiffel Tower. The main Montparnasse Tower. Ah, uh, this makes me want to go to France so bad. <laughs> I don't want to, like, be a tourist. Be a filthy, bloody tourist. What is that ball thing? I think everyone feels a bit like that. 
everyone's like being trapped. <laughs> oh, hello, Flash. What are you filthy words are coming out of your mouth here? We took the doors off this. That's open. Where's this uh, Sean's leasing? Can we fit through that in the helicopter? I think we should be able to find it. How cool is this? Bloody looks amazing. Come here, spread your COVID. Here we go, Eiffel Tower time. We're going to do it. We're going to line it up and go straight. Can't go above 100 miles an hour. Well, 130 miles an hour, otherwise the helicopter flips over. The uh, We can do the uh, the parish track that's in um, grid. <laughs> if you want. Oh, shit. Careful. You hit 110 knots and you're flying upside down. That was too easy. Right. Oh, Triumph, where is it? It's over there. There you go. You know, uh, someone someone in chat uh, yesterday offered to take us out in their helicopter. <laughs> so if that happens, that's going to be hilarious. They were probably drunk, though. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I used to produce music for computer games, uh, Kyle. Like menu music, loops, sound effects and stuff. It was all terrible. <laughs> I don't know if we can fit through the Arc de Triomphe. I have taken them up on it, but I, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't know if they were serious or not. Like, you know, it's, it's, you know. there's a helicopter pad on top of the Arctic Triumph. <laughs> Can we fit? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, let's find out, guys. I mean, the body of the helicopter can. I don't know about the rotors. Imagine coming up this roundabout and just seeing a helicopter doing this. Hello. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tail strike. Oh, I did that on purpose. We may have uh, chipped the Arc de Triomphe a little bit. Whoopsie. I think the rotors would have got knocked off there. Try that again. Oh, no! Oh, no! We're trapped in the Arc de Triomphe! Oh! Oof! Oof! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, you, they do fit. It's a tight fit, but they do they do fit. As long as you're going right through the middle, you could technically fly this helicopter through the Arc de Triomphe. Let's try that again. Let's try and do it a bit better. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck on the Arc de Triomphe. Bollard! <laughs> right, let's do this.
Ah, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, man. Right, we need to run up. We need to run up. We need to get stable. We've lost RPM speed here. <laughs> Cheating war axe. That's nice. Look at that. Beautiful. I think that's the necropolis on top of the hill. The graveyard thing. Right. We'll use that road. We'll do a run up down that whole road. I think that'll work well. <laughs> you can't even... Has it got a light on it? I, I don't know what it's called. be higher I think we have to be higher for that to work guilty <laughs> huge error <laughs> what? I reverse out oh god we're stuck on it this vehicle is reversing. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're, they're reinforced. Only the best rotor blades on my helicopter. Let's try that again. Too much to the left. Damn socialist helicopter pilots. They're the worst. Right, we're doing this. Is this great viewing for you guys? Man repeatedly crashes into Parisian landmark. <laughs> Top notch viewing. Right. I'm enjoying learning how to fly helicopters. That's what I'm doing. We have to go higher so the helicopter's blades are going through the top bit. Ah! Oh, no! Bit too high there, boys. Bit too high. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> Parked it. Textbook. Parisian landing that. <laughs> Do you think we can recover it? Yeah, boy, I'm out. That's how Australians land helicopters. Nailed it. That's how it's done. Don't question my technique. <laughs> this is now. This is my life. Is down up when up is down. Wow. 
Right, what what should we try? One more thing. It looks grand. Should we try uh should we should we look at it Paris at night? That'd be nice. Let's give that a go. It was a quick landing. <laughs> That'd be good. Woo. I wonder if that's actually possible. Well, I'd imagine that with a helicopter, the expectation is that it will crash. I mean, that's it is a helicopter. Over go. Let's let's put it to, to live weather now. Uh, it can do a rollover, but it's normally from overspeeding. It's not meant to do it. You get the you get the blaze to stall, and then it automatically just flips over because it just basically turns into a um, it turns into like a um, what are those things called that they use a gyroscope because the wings are no longer working. So as, as far as the helicopter is concerned, it's as if it's in like zero g. Someone made a good point. I was reading about helicopters, and someone that they said, if you go to like air shows, they have vintage planes, right? Can you ever remember the last vintage helicopter show? <laughs> There's no such thing. There's no such thing because they've all crashed. Oh, here we go. We got a torch on. Look at that. That's cool. We've got a spotlight on the front helicopter. I mean, planes aren't better, let's be honest. Should be able to see the Alpha Tower from here. No. Where is it? Where's the Alpha Tower? Keep gaining attitude until we can see it. Hello, Daniel Merchant. We're just uh, flying helicopters, having a blast, really. It's good fun. Ch I was ch trying out this uh, track IR with uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. It works good. And now fighter jets are rubbish. They're not. They're boring to fly. The, the best planes are World War Two planes. That's a that's a plane. Maybe it's over there. Yeah, this has VR. Hello, BC. How's it going? Yeah, we're, we're checking out track IR still. Got it working. It's all pretty good. Well, hang on. If this is the river... Where's the bloody city? Right, 
gonna fly over that way because that's where more lights are. Nice when you have like all the lights it does make it look very realistic. We did, we were just flying around Paris, but now I've lost it. That, I guess that's Charles de Gaulle Airport, which is not which is quite far away from Paris. I don't know the suburbs of Paris really to just know exactly where I am here without being able to see normally you'd expect you to see the Eiffel Tower from quite a distance. Oh, hang on, there it is. There's the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's right in front of us. We're quite far away. This is the current time and weather in Paris, supposedly. What, um, I need to Google and see if I can find like a helicopter collective controller. It's not too expensive. All you need is like up and down and a uh, twist. How did I get into music? Uh, <laughs> wow, well, you know, making really high quality remixes in Fruity Loops of um, terrorist attacks, actually. That's how I got into music. <laughs> Straight, funny you should mention it. Remixing like uh, live leak videos and stuff. That was back in the day, you know. I was an innovator. It's the best way to learn music programs. Another football pitch there. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, hopefully I can get one of them to review that would be great. Only first six months, so six and a bit months, Daniel. So for a French exchange, I, I like I, I like Fruity Loops. I mean, really, I find it really relaxing to use. Uh, my projects get a total mess. <laughs> By the way, guys, check out uh, bsimracing.com if you like. Uh, if you want sim racing news, www.bsimracing.com. Just a bit of an advert there. Uh, Cubase is uh, the UI is not as intuitive. People like it, but Fruity Loops is probably the easiest interface of them all. See, I race it. Yeah, it, the thing is, since like 2010 or so. Is they became irrelevant which one you used. Like, it didn't really matter because all the all the v v VST Virtual Studio tools uh, were essentially doors as well. Around about two thousand and eight, uh, around about two thousand and ten, it, it literally just became irrelevant what you were using. They all they all had the same possible feature set. All the major tools all work with all of them. It just c turns into well, which user interface do you prefer, basically. On what if you're using Apple and PC and what have you? They're, yeah, because all the VSTs are all cross compatible by the nature of their design as well. <laughs> Cubase brainwash beats him. Everyone hates it, but it's the ah oh, shut up. Fruity Loops all the way. Fruity Loops because it's the least pretentious and the most user friendly, and has the nicest graphic. It was early with the with it was like the Assetto Corsa of music making. Early on. Also, it was the cheapest for a long time. 
Uh, and uh, the stuff they bundle in with it is really good. The VSTs you get with Fruity Loops with the basic package is amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, it basically, the audio software got to the... Oh, we'll land in the Stade de France. The audio software got to the same point as uh, 3D software. Why have we got UFOs there? What's that about? Do, 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 UFOs! Ah, oh, the French UFOs! Um, yeah, 3D, 3D software got like that in about 2010 as well. Where it, up until about 2006, 2007, it used to be like, oh, you have to use XSI if you're an animator. You have to use 3DS Max if you're doing game development. Or, or you have to use Maya. Do you know what I mean? It was like, if you did animation, you used X. If you did game development, you used Y. If you did this, you did, you know. Whereas now, it literally is irrelevant. It, don't, it doesn't matter. They, you, you can use Cinema 4D. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. The biggest thing is just having the time to get used to one of them. I always thought XSI was weird. If you ever do 3D modeling, like XSI is kind of strange. Like it kind of makes sense. It like XSI always seemed to be quite good for very technically minded animators and programmers. Uh, but if you were like a very quick 3D modeler, like using, if you were doing very um, low poly modeling for like PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii. It would, I always find it like a lot faster to work with 3ds Max. Like you could do stuff really, really quickly, low poly stuff where you really need to get in there. It was a weather balloon. Shh. It's a French weather balloon. They they glow. Uh, yeah, I, I've only spent like 400 pounds on Fruity Loops, and that's fine. Like you can literally produce. Um, you could spend two hundred pounds on Fruity Loops, and you could produce work like professional music. Like I said, I spent four hundred pounds on it, and I was using it professionally <laughs> for years. So I think what happens is a lot of people get addicted to like getting ROMs and VSTs rather than spending time on fundamental like f dialing in the synths that are there or making a good song <laughs> people people are like oh I'll buy this package I'll buy uh, you know I'll get this VS because it's something to play with you know, there's nothing wrong with that it's entertaining but um, it's easy to get drawn into that so instead of actually making music you're just you're basically just buying more instruments so I think uh, Free Loops is fantastic. Just a bit, it's fun as a toy as well. No, no one, no one uses Pro Tools, Nigel. Get out. <laughs> Here we go. Stade de France landing. Whoa. Nighttime landing. EJ, that's where it was at, guys. On the PS1. Look at that. turbulence as we came over the lip there. Whoa, that's the roof. That's the roof. Reverse. Reverse. Why is it not... Rev what is going on? We've lost input. Hang on, something's happened. Something's happened with my helicopter controls here. What is going on? Fly around the stadium. That was weird. Oh, I see. Like, I, the bottom of the stadium is closer. There was some weird stuff going on there. 
<laughs> there was some weird physics happening when we got over the stadium. I think it was like weird turbulence or something. It confused the ground effect. That was very strange. It's a levitated helicopter. I don't know why the physics are breaking as soon as I get over this thing. Now, the physics went mental. Very strange. Whoop. Let's go back to the city centre here. <laughs> that was so weird. The Hindenburg of helicopters. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> I, I I resent that. <laughs> I don't think that's a fair characterization of my flying. Cheers for the donation, man. <laughs> What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. The Hindenburg of helicopters. I don't I don't play any instruments. I used to play the trombone a little bit, but I was terrible at it. <laughs> Field Marshal von Hindenburg. Yeah, well, I, I'm trying to, like, master landing this in that you want to be moving forwards because when this helicopter goes stationary, it has a habit of just, like, going... <laughs> so... I'm trying to I'm trying to get to grips with, like... You want to land with a bit of momentum and, like, glide it in and then pull the collective up, but you have to learn the timing for the drop and then when to move the collective... But then you also have to learn that when you're slowing down, it wants to rotate more to the left or the right, so you have to get the foot pedals right. But then if you add... Whoa! Overspeed! Here we go, here we go. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Made a mistake there. <laughs> Made a little mistake there. Bloody hell. Overspeeded. What is the Nigel! Demand? Necessity. Thank you. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Igor Sikorsky is currently rolling over in his grave faster than your rotor blade's winking face. <laughs> Thank you for that. Cheers, man. We really appreciate your support. <sighs> but you, you cursed me! <laughs> it's becoming a bad habit. It don't, like, you don't know you're going faster. There needs to be, like, a wind sound effect or something. You're, you're, one minute you're flying, the next minute you're upside down. I don't know what you do to, like, there needs to be a lot. If I had this helicopter in real life, I would have, like, an alarm that picked up the wind speed and it would go, oh, you're going 100 miles an hour, you're about to die. That's the kind of thing you want an alarm for, right? Do you know what I mean? You... you Surely, if a vehicle has a speed where it could spontaneously flips upside down, you would want a warning for that. <laughs> like, of all situations, imagine if you were driving a train, and then when you get to, like, 90 miles per hour, it just flips upside down. You'd be like, oh, hang on a minute. Let's have an alarm for that. Oh, dear. Okay. What? Why are we starting Australian? There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the helicopters didn't have that. What? It's got a speed indicator there. 
Just put an alarm on it. It can't be that hard. You could just, you could literally just have a LED light in your face on a pole. Right. After dying there, we're back up, back on the road. Going to go to the modern city as well. Check that out. That looks nice at night, doesn't it? Makes one have a nice dinner. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Thank you guys for those donations and supporting us. Really do appreciate it at two in the morning. <laughs> That'll go towards my helicopter insurance policy. Yeah, well, I mean... Oh, here we go again. Where's the speedo? No, see, look, we don't, it feels like you're going fast, but you're not. Like, it's very hard to tell because what there's a... It lures you in. You can feel like you're flying level, but level, but actually you've just gradually got faster and faster and faster, but you don't realise. That's the problem. There's no like obvious clue. Apart from the speedo, but that's not even given how dangerous it is, you think they put that in the front. I bet you in the real helicopter it gets really windy or something, it's really obvious. I think Paris is a much nicer looking city than London, you know. So many people live in these flats, it's pretty crazy. Doesn't um doesn't Paris have more population than London? Like the London centre, because London's actually quite spread out really. Uh the TLCM pedal oh yeah, no, I think they're alright. I, I I prefer the Fanatec CSL Elite, Daniel, but you'll be fine with them. You know, I, I had the Logitech G25 pedals for ages. And they're fine. And they're not even load cell. Yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll really enjoy it. You traitor. Yeah, I think you'd be able to hear it. Like, you'd feel it like... You'd notice the wind. You'd probably... F well, you, you'd feel yourself accelerating. Once you're up to speed, you're up to speed. You won't feel it. But, like, everything's probably going to start shaking, you know. It's like if you've ever been in a Peugeot, a 90s Peugeot, 80s Peugeot at, like, 90 miles an hour, you can bloody tell. Like, you don't need a speedo because the, the wing mirrors are falling off. Did you... Why did you... Low tail shouldn't be hard to get to work. I, I use a load cell really sensitive. Uh, yeah, the force feedback does get stronger as I go faster, but unless you're pulling back on the stick, you don't really notice that. It's just French cars. Oh la la. I will not go on the motorway at this speed. Why do you ask me to go so fast? I want to sit under this tree and uh, have a baguette. Actually, that's a good idea. Saucy song. Oh, man, I want some saucy song. I want some saucy song. I'm hungry. Oh, dear, Noble today. It's the French gherkin. It's like the English gherkin, but with a more fancy roof. And half of it missing. Le gherk. In. <laughs> the Bendy. The Bendy building. This is like the French uh, financial district here. Total. Nice building. In the G. We've got a building like that near uh, Hammersmith. Society General Complex. What the hell is that? Can someone Google that, please? Oh, complex maybe just means that's their headquarters or something. What's the Society General? Is that like a government building? Like the General Society?
I think we could fly through that building for sure. Coming through. Oh no! <laughs> we hit it. Oh, look at that. We can fly through this. this building. Grand Arche de, de, de la Defense. Go for it. Can it defend against the Game of Muscle? I don't think so. Oh, what? <laughs> we just lost lift. Whoa. Oh. Oh la la. Okay, something happened there. We just lost lift as we were going through it. That was really weird. I think the I don't think it likes. Um, I don't think it likes when there's something over the top of it. I think that breaks the physics of it. Well, we're Australian again now. Well, that was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, it's the uh, cars come to rescue us. Wow. The ditch. There you go, guys. I have to safely say here that uh, track IR did indeed work. We have had our tracking IR'd. Um, it worked good for the helicopter. I'm pretty happy with that. Can, uh... Could store it there. There we go. Pretty decent. Does the job. Happy times. I'm I'm going to try and get some sleep. I think maybe. It's, it's night time. It's two in the morning. But that was good fun. We did uh oh it was three three hours of testing it. It's not bad. Uh yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> the hardcore morning crew. Appreciate it. We, we hit 100 likes whilst testing some hardware. That's all you need in life. I will uh, see you guys soon. Have a, have a good one, guys. Have a good one. It's basically morning. Now, nah, I'll be dead. Take care, guys. Bye.